guys and welcome back. I'm Erin and today I want to talk to you about the Instax Mini Evo. Uh, I've had this camera for about a year now. It first came out in November 2021 and I want to talk to you a little bit about the pros, the cons, and most importantly whether or not this camera is worth it. First released in November 2021, the Instax Mini Evo is the perfect little hybrid camera which takes pictures digitally but still gives you that instant satisfaction you'd get from using an analog camera. By the way, this is not sponsored, this is just me sharing a camera that I've enjoyed using with you guys. The Mini Evo comes in two classic colors, brown and black, and is also compact and lightweight, weighing about 10 ounces, which makes it the perfect little travel companion. I even bought an extra carrying case for it, which fits great and doesn't get in the way like other protective cases. The camera's internal memory is nothing to rave about. However, you can add an extra mini SD card here. And since this camera only shoots at about five megapixels, that means even a small SD card, about two gigs, would last you quite a while. The camera charges with a micro USB-A cord, which of course is included when you purchase it. This is one of the biggest flaws with this camera. Unlike the Instax Mini 90 where you have a removable battery, once this battery dies internally, the camera is dead. If you do plan on using this camera for a really long shoot, it might be a good idea to carry along a battery pack so that you can recharge the battery on the go if you need it. Unfortunately, plugging this in to this kind of defeats the purpose of this really nice sleek design. So I really hope that if they come out with another model of this, that they will make sure that there is a removable battery because that would be really, really, really great. Also, I find this tiny little flap here really difficult to open, even with nails. On the bottom, you have a spot for a tripod and you have a built-in flash, which you can turn off, unlike some of the other cheaper point-and-shoot cameras. Here on the front, there's a built-in selfie mirror, as well as a 10 or two second self-timer. There are also two shutter buttons, one on the front and one on the side, which makes it more convenient to shoot both portraits and landscapes. On the back there is a 3-inch LCD screen and no viewfinder, which of course took me a minute to get used to, but definitely adds to the overall sleekness of its design. One really cool feature about this camera is that you have 10 different lens options as well as 10 different film simulations. And I really like the design of this because you can just turn here, just like you're using an analog camera, to change the different settings. This is something that you just won't find on any of the other Instax cameras. One of the coolest little features on this camera is here where it says print. All you have to do is pull this lever, just like you're winding an analog camera, and the picture will print for you. You could probably already guess this from the name, but of course the Instax Mini Evo takes Instax Mini Film. This is by far Fuji's most popular film line, offering the widest selection of different frame colors and designs. Each image measures about 2.1 by 3.4 inches, which is about the same size as a credit card. Also, if you want to buy film for this camera, a 20 pack of Instax mini film goes for about $14.99, or the specialty packs for 10 photos goes for about $10.99. This is about as cheap as it gets for good quality instant film. This camera has a 28 millimeter lens with a small CMOS sensor. This camera's aperture is set to F2 and also switches between 1 4th of a second to 1 8,000th of a second. And it does this automatically, so there is no manual shooting mode, unfortunately. The ISO sensitivity range on this camera is between 100 and 1600, which it also switches automatically between these. Oh, and I almost forgot the little on off switch is here on the front, though I figured that was pretty self-explanatory. Overall, I have to say the Mini Evo does a really good job of exposure compensation. Also, you have several different modes that you can print in. You can print in normal mode or rich mode. I really like the rich mode. It's probably one of the best print qualities to date. If for whatever reason your pictures are printing a bit too dark, there are also three different options here for printing a little bit lighter so that you get the desired results that you would like. Here's a quick look at some of the images I've taken with this camera just to give you an idea of how nice the contrast is and also the color saturation. Now that we've talked so much about the camera, let's take a quick look at the Instax Mini Evo app. This camera actually doubles as a printer, which means that you can take all of your lovely moments on your phone and print them directly using this camera. Aside from being able to print the pictures from your phone, you can also take the pictures you've taken from the camera and transfer them to your phone. 
This is great because any photos that you may have printed and you really like, you can then directly upload them to social media or send them digitally to your friends. Overall, I really like the fact that this camera doubles as a printer because I have been able to print a lot of really fun moments that I had on my phone when the camera wasn't around and then use that for excellent gift ideas for Christmas or birthdays, things like that. Also, if you want any inspiration regarding gift ideas, check out some of my other videos on my channel. When it comes to the price of this camera, this camera costs about just under $200 on Amazon. The truth is, it is definitely more expensive than other Instax cameras. However, you will save a lot of money on the long run on Instax film because of the fact that you can see the pictures before you print them. Oh, and might I just add that this camera is a great hit at parties, weddings, or other gatherings. So that pretty much covers it. Let's just do a quick recap of the pros and cons just so you have everything in mind before you make your buying decision. Some of the pros are that it is a hybrid, meaning it shoots digitally but prints analog. Also, it doubles as a printer. It's small and lightweight. Ha offers roughly 100 different film and lens combinations. It is easy to print your pictures and transfer them. And of course, most importantly, you get to preview your images before printing them, which saves you a ton of money on film. And regarding the cons, the biggest downside to this camera is that it does not have a replaceable rechargeable battery. It's actually built into the camera. And of course, that the price is slightly more expensive than some of the other cameras. Overall though, I think it's a really great camera and I've loved the wow factor I get from people when I go ahead and take a picture and then hand them a copy of it immediately after I've taken it. Well, that's it for today's video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video from me. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin O'Leary.